Well, new at midday, the Clark County Commission just approved a special fund for COVID-19 relief. Now, this comes as they continue to discuss reopening businesses right here in the Valley. Third Connection News reporter Sean Delancey has more details. Sean. Yeah, Kalina, today's meeting of the Clark County Commissioners was one that is crucial to the future of the strip and every other business in unincorporated Clark County talking about how they are enforcing the shutdown, how they could potentially help everybody reopen when the time is right and how they can help pay to help people in the meantime. First, the county established a special fund to take relief money from the state and federal government and then send it out to people in need. The only commissioner to vote no on that was Commissioner Tick Siegerblom saying that he wanted more information about the expected $300 million in aid aid money would be spent. They did say that they were going to have more conversations about that down the road. Second, county administrators said that they are working on plans to reopen Clark County. The duo of administrators said that they are going to create an information hotline to businesses and establish a reopen checklist so that everyone knows when and how they can start business up again. Commissioners warned, though, that they are going to follow the orders of Governor Sisolak and not allow a reopening until he gives the green light. Finally, they approved an ordinance allowing them to enforce any emergency orders from the state or federal government, creating three penalties for anyone who breaks those orders. They can now take your business license, fine you $1,000 a day per violation, or charge you criminally if you violate any of these emergency directives. All of this came in conjunction with a breakdown of the financial impact of the coronavirus on unincorporated Clark County. They expect a huge loss in fiscal year 2021. I'll tell you about that and break it all down coming up at 3 o'clock. But for now, Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.